In this session, we will go to see what is an earth inductor, the construction of earth inductor and the theory of earth inductor. Earth inductor is an important device which is used to measure the horizontal component of earth's magnetic field, BH, the vertical component of earth's magnetic field, BV, and the angle of dip, pi. Under which principle this earth inductor works? This earth inductor works on the principle of electromagnetic induction. It generates an induced EMF by virtue of rotation of the coil in the earth's magnetic field. The construction of earth inductor is very simple. It consists a circular coil of 1000 to 5000 tons of insulated copper wire wound on a wooden frame. This coil can be rotated about an axis PQ by using the handle H. The rotation is up to 180 degree. This coil can also be rotated about an axis RS. The axis RS is perpendicular to PQ. About this axis, this coil can be rotated just by turning this frame. The two ends of the wire in the coil are connected to terminals T1 and T2 which are fixed on the frame. From these two terminals, external circuit is connected. Usually, external circuit contains a ballistic galvanometer. By using that ballistic galvanometer, we can either detect or measure the induced current. Now, let us see the theory of this earth inductor. N be the number of turns in the coil, A be the surface area of the coil, B is uniform magnetic field. When the plane of the coil is perpendicular to the direction of magnetic field, then the flux linking with the coil is given by pi is equal to NBA. When the coil is rotated through an angle theta, then the effective area of the coil becomes A cos theta. Therefore, the magnetic flux linking with the coil is given by NBA cos theta. As this coil rotates in a magnetic field, then there is a change in the magnetic flux. As we know that the rate of change of magnetic flux is nothing but induced EMF. So here E is equal to minus d pi by dt. E is an induced EMF. Now let us substitute this pi value pi is equal to NBA cos theta. Here this NBA is constant and uh, differentiation of cos theta with respect to time. So here NBA is taken out differentiation of cos theta with respect to time dt. Differentiation of this cos theta is minus sin theta. So minus and minus becomes plus. Therefore E is equal to NBA sin theta into d theta by dt. If R is the resistance of the external circuit, usually the external circuit contains a ballistic galvanometer. Then the induced current is given by I is equal to E divided by R. This E is this NBA sin theta into d theta by dt divided by R. Therefore, if a dq amount of charge flows through a ballistic galvanometer in the time dt, then 
dq can be written as i into dt. Now let us substitute this i from this expression. i is nba divided by r sin theta d theta by dt into dt. This dt will get cancelled. Therefore, dq is equal to nba divided by r into sin theta into d theta. When the coil is rotated through an angle 180 degree, it is rapidly rotated either about an axis PQ or about an axis RS. When the coil is rotated through an angle of 180 degree, then the total charge passing through ballistic galvanometer is given by integration of dq and here integration from 0 to pi that is 0 to 180 degree nba divided by r sin theta into d theta. Here nba divided by r is constant and uh, integration of sin theta is minus cos theta. Here we are applying limit to 0 to pi left hand side becomes q minus nba divided by r cos of pi 180 degrees minus 1 minus of cos 0 is 1. So here we will get minus 2 minus 2 and here we have minus therefore it becomes plus. Therefore q is equal to 2 nba divided by r. Let us have this as equation 1. From the theory of ballistic galvanometer, as we know that uh, if Q amount of charge flows through a ballistic galvanometer, let uh, theta 1 be the first deflection observed in the ballistic galvanometer. Then according to the expression, according to the theory of ballistic galvanometer, the expression for charge is Q is equal to T by 2 pi C by a, B, N, theta 1 into 1 plus lambda by 2. Let us take this as equation 2. Let K is equal to T by 2 pi C by A, B, N. Then from equation 1 and 2. Equation 1 is this. Equation 2 is this. From equation 1 and 2, left hand sides are equal. So we can equate right hand sides. Then the expression become 2 nba divided by r which is equal to k theta 1 into 1 plus lambda by 2 where this k is ballistic constant and lambda is logarithmic decrement. Thank you.